Current efforts to deal with climate change often address the emission of greenhouse gases, but little is said about how land use contributes to these emissions. Deforestation, the urban sprawl and agriculture, among other human influences, have substantially altered our landscape. It is estimated that about 15% of greenhouse gas emissions come from agricultural practices alone. It may surprise uh, many people to find that uh, agriculture, although is a big victim of climate change, is also a cause of climate change. Vegetation and soil often act as a sink that stores gases such as carbon, nitrogen and methane. So when the land is disturbed, these gases are released to the atmosphere. Clearing of land causes soil erosion and the leaching of nutrients which can reduce the soil's ability to act as a sink. Any method whereby the farmers in his cultivation will remove all the other vegetation, the natural vegetations, like the shrubs and the trees that on his farm, is also bad. Livestock keeping also contributes a significant amount of greenhouse gases. Therefore, other than reduce the number of animals that one can keep in a particular piece of land, rotational grazing systems and proper management of the manure produced are also practices that could work. It is something that Jonathan Komen, a farmer from Kaptuli in Eldoret, has learned to do. Komen grows maize and passion fruits and keeps a small number of livestock. <laughs> As part of his contribution to reduce emissions, Komen carries out rotational farming to ensure that the soil does not lose its ability to act as a carbon reservoir. Farmers are also encouraged to minimize tillage, reduce the use of nitrogen fertilizers and plant vegetation on idle land to prevent soil erosion. Natural grasslands and forests are a massive reservoir of carbon, both in the vegetation above the ground and in the root systems below. Extensive areas of this vegetation has been cleared to meet the insatiable need for land and therefore restoring the degraded watersheds and water catchment areas could be a win-win strategy for addressing climate change and water scarcity. Sheila Sendeo for EcoScan.